All right, so here's uh, the pitching wedge from when we were trying to do, or when you were doing the decade golf dispersion tendency test. So this is your pitching wedge. You can see that that's all of your uh, ball marks from where you hit it on the face with the pitching wedge, which is pretty consistently solid. I mean, pretty close to dead center. So, so what you would do is take you know these shots and find the middle ball which is about right there. You know, it's about the middle of, let's see, this one is eight feet left, even though I know it's a little miss hit. Um, and this one was 11 feet right. You're part of, so that would mean your center would be like one yard right of the target line. Or sorry, one yard, you, that's your tendency is to miss it one yard right of your target line. So you want to pick a spot one yard left. But we need to do this more over time to get it really dialed in because this is just one sample size, right? So now if we, uh, so pitching wedge tendency is to move one yard right, seven iron. So if we look, so we got the farthest left ball here is 47 feet left. And then the farthest right ball is 28 feet right. So I would say, um, so what's the middle of that? Would be somewhere left of the target line, like seven yards or so. So you'd want to pick a target. So we say, that's kind of the center from there. Not quite, it's more about right here, which is five yards is kind of the middle of your circle. So your tendency is to move, miss five yards left. So you'd want to pick a target if you're trying to hit a straight shot, five yards right of uh, your intended target. So it draws back. And this is just all playing the odds. Uh, it's like gambling, like I said. So you can see center of the face hit. And I mean, I don't know if you can look at your numbers, but I'll post this. I mean, your swing is really good right now. Uh, very neutral. You can play whatever shot you want with whatever club um, you know you have or whatever shot you have. Just focus on the face control to predict the curve because your path is really neutral. Um, <clears throat> so now we've got the four iron. So now if we take this ball is about so 25, so let's say 29-ish yards left farthest right yeah so we need to redo this one it looks like your tendency is right because you can see more of these balls there this way um and the lower the loft the more the face naturally points right so if we look at a wedge or a higher lofted club it should be more of a tendency to the left because of the loft but then the longer irons should be let, they're less loft, so they should tend to go a little more right than these shorter iron. So we need to redo this, but it looks like I would probably say that's an outlier there. And uh, so if we go from there, 15 yards left to, um, let's see, 25. Yeah, so about 29, 20. 829 so I would say somewhere in there see so 12 ish yards 10 12 ish yards so I would you know pick a spot if I was trying to hit a straight shot 10 or 12 yards left of the target try to hit it straight and chances are it's going to curve that amount back to the target um, let's see the hybrid dead center again so it looks like your big miss is always kind of to the left, which I think that has to do with your impact position that we're working on, not the body turn we're working on is the biggest thing. But so it looks, you know, if we take this tendon, say the middle between 32 yards left and 20 yards right. So we go right about here again. It's kind of where if you aim down the middle, where it's going to end up. So you would want to go 12 yards-ish right. 
and it sh by hitting the straight shot, it should curve back. So now the driver has a less lot, least amount of loft, correct, in the bag. So this one, you can see your path and face. So you can see 80% of your directions dictated by your where your face is pointing, and that's five degrees to the right. So went right, way right, two and a half degrees to the right, but you swung left. But look at your path; it's always like zero, one. Yeah, zero. Face is always just a little open. Over here, it's just the difference in the face, right? So that's a positive two. So it's pointing to the right. Let's see. So the blue, the white line, your target line. Blue line, the path. Red line, the club face. So even though you're swinging almost a degree left and miss 75 feet right because your path here. Path was a degree left, but it was three degrees left of your club face, meaning your face to path ratio, you were three degrees open when you wanted two to one ratio, so you'd only want this, you know, point negative point four. That'd be the proper amount of curve since you're hitting it so solid. Um, but yeah, so on this one, if we say that's an outlier, we'll take this. About 30 yards. That's about 18 yards. So we would say 12 ish yards. It's going to curve right on command if we aim. So we want to pick a target there. So hopefully that helps you understand kind of your, dis uh, your dispersion tendencies. And we did, you know, a wedge or a short iron, a mid iron, a long iron hybrid driver so you could see how the loft affected uh, the direction. So yeah, I'm not sure that one was just an outlier. You got way in the out over there. Yeah, so hopefully this helps and I'll see you soon.